Hey, it's Sabrina Carpenter, and you're watching Shine On Media. We're here at the premiere of The Duff. Yes. Why, did, why do you love this movie, or why do you want to see it so bad? Because it stands for so many good things. I mean, it's just hilarious, and I love, I don't know, I love what it stands for, and I love how we can all relate to being that Duff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you have a duff, or are you a duff to somebody? I'm probably the duff to, like, a lot of people. I don't think I, I, I don't have a duff. I don't have, like, a squad of friends either. I don't have, like, a clique. I just kind of... She's got a good close... Down. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And I know Girl Meets World, lots of exciting things are happening. You got to work with a ton of old cast members. Yeah. What's that experience been like with Will coming back? Will is the funniest human you will ever meet. I mean, Will and Ben are par on par, but they are some of the funniest people. And um, Ryder's been directing a lot, so it's been such an honor to have them, like, just all around us all the time, you know? It makes us feel really good. It makes us feel like we're part of the family, and uh, it's just super fun. What's going to be going on with your, uh, your character's relationship with Sean? There is, you'll definitely see some more evolution between them and the relationship and sparks between them and their family members, and it's a beautiful relationship they have for the two of each other. I feel like there's really only one cast member we need to come back, and that's yeah. Matthew Lawrence. What do we have to do to get him to come back? Oh, gosh. That's a good question. I don't know. We also have Morgan, too, though. We've got a couple, and, and we'll, I, we'll and get them. Angela's slowly. coming back? Yes, Angela's okay. coming back, and so is uh, Chet Hunter. So we've got some surprises okay. for you guys. I'll be holding out for him. <laughs> and music-wise, what's yeah. going on with you? I know you released a single. Just released a single, and there's some more fun stuff coming for that soon. And uh, I have an album coming out this year, and uh, I'm going off to film a movie so I can't tour necessarily right now but I just uh, released a tour date in Hershey Park and it's gonna be six to oh, I'm from Pennsylvania so it's okay. like I All love the it there and I'll be performing with Fifth Harmony and R5 and Shawn Mendes and uh, some other artists so it'll be great that's an awesome line. Yeah. and I am a, I gotta tell you like Adventures in Babysitting is one of my favorite movies Thank ever you. so what's it like to bring that to life for this new generation I'm so honored to be part of two I guess reboots in a way now it's um it's very much an honor and I love the original and there's a lot of old things that we do from the original and put in the new one but there's also a brand new twist on it so I think everyone's gonna I'm love it glad you've seen the original because I feel like it's so oh. How it's could you old, not? It's disease, so like some of these kids these days, you know? Well, it's true. I will tell some people that are older than me and they haven't seen it. I'm like, wow, I feel old and I'm not. I think. I'm 15. Is that old? Well, you're talking to me, so no, oh, okay. that is not old. You're a baby. Um, what is your one babysitting tip? My one babysitting tip? Um, I guess never lose sight of the children. That's a good one. <laughs> Which can happen a lot. Don't lose the kids. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jasmine's love them. Jasmine's love life um, is a little, little Logan centered. Um, so cool. I'm so like it's it's just one of those things where it's like what this isn't real. This is happening. 